So now, before we actually get into our, all of our fun web-based entertainment on the TV, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Motion Tools to you. Motion Tools is software that comes with the Air Mouse Elite. Actually, it comes with all of our Air Mouse products. And it gives you some advanced features that uh, better enable you to enjoy, uh, in this case, web-based entertainment, um, as from your web browser uh, or your media player. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to start Motion Tools up so you can take a quick look at that interface. Uh, and then I will show you how I have my Motion Tools configured to use Internet Explorer uh, and the media player. So here you see the Motion Tools interface. And uh, there's a few things that are immediately obvious. Uh, number one is across the top, we have different application contexts uh, that allow you to have different uh, settings uh, for the different types of applications. Uh, the general application context is uh, what you would use uh, if you were uh, the context with your, your computer desktop. Uh, the Internet context is uh, the settings that you would have uh, if you were using Internet Explorer or any other web browser. Uh, the media player context, uh, again, is the settings that would be active if you were using a media player. Uh, and the last one is the presentation context, presentation context if you're using some sort of presentation tool. Uh, but we're really going to focus on um, the web browser and the media player since that is uh, the backbone of my web-based entertainment on my TV. Um, the Air Mouse Elite has three buttons. Uh, that activate different types of features. And for the web browser, I have the left media button set to my home page. I have the center media button set to air volume, and I'll show you what air volume is a little bit later. Uh, and I have the right media button set to refresh the page. Uh, in addition to the buttons, we have gestures or swipes that allow me to use my air mouse, uh, just simple hand gestures in the air, uh, to activate uh, different kinds of features simple hand motions to activate very specific controls for the different applications. Uh, in this case, for your web browser, we have uh, a left swipe configured to go back a page, uh, a right swipe configured to go ahead a page, that's for going page back, page forward uh, in your web browser, uh, and up swipe, uh, up swipe and down swipe uh, will scroll a particular web page uh, up or down, that's page up or page down for up swipe and down swipe. Uh, for the media player, the left media button is play and pause on the media player. Uh, the uh, center media button, media button is, uh, again, the air volume. That's a very useful feature. Uh, we'll show you in a little bit. Uh, and the right media button is uh, stop. Uh, for gestures in the media player, we have a left swipe. Uh, going back a song in the playlist, a right swipe going forward a song in the playlist, uh, up swipe uh, showing you the playlist, and a down swipe uh, actually taking you to your uh, computer desktop. So uh, this is how I have my, uh, my motion tools configured for web-based entertainment. Yours might be a little different. Uh, and to show you just real quickly uh, how you can configure it for yourself, I'm going to reconfigure the downswipe uh, to be a zoom uh, feature. That is, I've gone to the display section of motion tools, I've selected the zoom tool, and I'm clicking on it and dragging it over, over to downswipe. Um, it's going to be set to two times magnification when I do that gesture, uh, and there we go. Uh, so now that's how you would configure it uh, for your own use. You may uh, find you have different preferences for gestures. Now we'll move on to actually enjoying the entertainment.